This is the second and final video about my trip from Kiev to the Polish border and back. If you haven't watched the first, there's a link to it in the, in the description. Or if you just want to watch a video about Ukraine, skip that other video. Again, I am going to switch to a computer generated voiceover. It saves days of work for me and results in a video that is, that is easier for you to understand. On the day before, I stayed in a Polish hotel that was perfectly fine. Less expensive than a typical American Motel 6 and with a much better breakfast. But I had checked in when most people were waking up so I got less than 3 hours of sleep before checkout. Then I drove 10 hours south in a limping car and crossed the border from Slovakia to Ukraine. I was exhausted. Booking.com found me a hotel for $33 that looked fine. I took a few quick photos of the mostly empty parking lot and of the room. And then I slept 12 hours. As you can see, this hotel room is big. In fact, it is a junior suite with a very comfortable queen-sized bed. The Polish hotel which cost a little more had two very narrow twin beds and the room was much smaller. I never tried the internet in the Polish room, the Ukrainian room had fine Wi-Fi. I tell you these things so that you understand what a bargain Ukraine is. For $33 I got a junior suite including a great breakfast. If a person wanted to, they probably could negotiate a long-term rental if this suite for about $25 a night. With a microwave. There were only 3 cars in the gated parking area but there were about 15 people in that dining area during breakfast. Which means the hotel was less than half full. I doubt if the restaurant area and dining area is used anymore except for breakfast and maybe as a banquet area for weddings and similar events. Maybe you could get an excellent cup of espresso coffee like this during the day also. About 50 cents. If you watched the first video in this series, you know that I hit a deep pothole in the rain, full of water so I never saw it. At 9am I had an appointment to fix the worst of the tire and wheel issues basically a used wheel and a used tire and moving the spare to the rear. The spare was not the same as the other three tires. There was still damage to the front suspension but the car now drove much better. So I was able to drive at a normal speed. As an American I expected to pay well over $100 for this 90 minutes of work and a tire and a wheel. It was $40. This Google map shows my path home, to Kiev. The previous video did not show where I had been but look for Lublin, Poland and Helm. Basically it was from Kiev to Helm the first day. From Helm to Lublin and then south on the second day in a limping car. And then to this unpronounceable city on the border with Slovakia and Ukraine. My third day was the primary path shown in this map. I was no longer in a hurry, I just needed to be home before midnight which is curfew. So I made a stop along the road and took some pictures of the Carpathian mountain area. I have seen this area on a clear day and also when it was snow covered. You can't see the tops of the mountains as they are above the clouds but this is near some of the highest mountains in Ukraine. The pictures show a 360 degree view. In the spring of 2022, when Kyiv was substantially surrounded by Russian soldiers, I stayed in a village near school Ukraine. My drive home was going to take me directly past that area and so I decided to stop at the waterfall I knew was there and have dinner at the restaurant that I remembered at the waterfall. Here are some pictures and a little video of my stop there. Even though there was active war at that time in Kyiv, I remember my stay in the mountains fondly and I wanted to see it again. After my dinner, I gave the waitress an exorbitant tip and she rewarded me with a beautiful smile and a package of mountain herbal tea. Then I drove a little upstream and filled up all the empty water bottles in my car with real and pure mountain spring water. The rest of my trip home was uneventful. My poor neglected cat was very happy to see me. Home again home again. The next few days were busy fixing the car. Please take a moment and like this video and subscribe to me if you have not already done so.